through and he's fat talking to free. Welcome back to Dicey Dungeons. Where is the. Ah, there we go. I thought things were going to go tits up already then. It'd be off to a good start, wouldn't it? But there's also something else I've not checked. Yeah, again, I am actually talking to the microphone. That's a great start. Yeah, as you probably uh, tell from my grunts of disgust from the end of the last time, we got to do the inventor. My least favourite of them all. Which, um, don't get me wrong, the inventor can still deal out a lot of damage, like all of them, I just don't really like a bloody style. We'll give it a go. Time to meet the fourth member of our little squad. Oh, no. What she lacks in attention span, she makes up for ingenuity. I guess that was a compliment. <laughs> yes, that's right, it's time for... The Inventor. Wait, how did you do that? I'm really a dice? Oh wow, my little legs. <laughs> this shouldn't be possible. I mean, it's going to just fit into air vents, alright. I'm the all-powerful personification of fate, my dear. Everything's possible. Now, what brought you to the dungeons this evening? Ah, we all caught the train together. It's one of the new model T132s for the regenerative brakes. I see, yes. But what, my dear, are you hoping to weep? Complete understanding of everything in the universe. I mean, I can get down with that, to be fair. I can tell we're going to have a wonderful time in the dungeons tonight. So let's get started. Uh, right then, who do I want to go for first? I mean, Space Marine's got more chests, but yeah. Eventa's going to get a lot of chests in her levels because um, every time you end a fight, you have to break down a piece of equipment to become your uh, special ability. Which is one reason why I'm not really a fan of the Eventa. I and mean, again, you can get some pretty nice bits of equipment, but um, yeah. I'd rather just not have to break things in half. If I could do that. But at least we're gonna get past the Space Marine without too much trouble. After a nice and um, clean start. Uh, what do we get? Battle Ranch, combine, bear bit, and combine all dice, jackhammer, or do free damage. Um. I'll probably get rid of the pea shooter first. I really don't like the pea shooter. Terrible piece of equipment. It... The item version of a spare brick out of web. See where you can help us here, right? Alright then, but you've got Buzzer, we can inflict a bit more shock, that's always a happy day. Yeah, the key thing with the inventor is, um, whatever equipment you want to try and bring to the boss, maybe just store it in your backpack until you reach the boss. That's the best piece of advice I could give there. And, yeah, that's that fight done. The piece of equipment that's going to choose for you to break down is always going to be between three of them, and it's always going to be random, so you've got to be careful of that as well. Uh, static shock, do free lightning damage. Yeah, I'll take that. Got an extra dice. Yay! Oh, sword. See, that I'm going to keep in my backpack. So, sword, well, basic is very useful. If I'm doing lightning damage, I'm going to go after Stereo Head next, I think. Because he's weak to it, so. Seems like a very sensible thing to do. Yeah. Enemies weak to anything, it will do double damage. Which is always nice. The only thing with Stereo Head is he likes weakening your stuff. And weaken sucks. It's happy days when you use it, but it's not very nice when it's used against you. But like most things in RPGs, to be fair. Uh, let's have a look. Shock free equipment. Combine all dies. Uh, I will have to go with the battle wrench for now, I think. It's in the old shop. Upgrade equipment, scrap metal. Always offer this scrap, which would be quite good if you want to try and make sure you're not going to have to get rid of your nice equipment. Venus fly traps also tempting. Pack sword. Okay. Back the equipment I've already got. 
That shrinks down the hammer and that makes the crossbow... I probably am going to break the crossbow down at some point anyway, so I will upgrade the hammer, I think. Seems like a sensible idea to me. Uh, right, you both got a chest each, so it doesn't really matter which way I go. Mine all dies! Thank you. Uh, Inventor's special ability is all dice will become sixes, which is useful depending on what equipment you got on you. Okay, burn one die, still six damage. Should I take the burn off if I do that? <laughs> nice. Sixes. Whoa, the marshmallow is hitting heavy for some reason. It's a bit naya. Oh, yep. If I spy on random nonsense in this recording session, I'm just subconsciously talking to my baby. <laughs> Every time he makes a noise. <laughs> Uh, right, I want to get rid of the crossbow, don't I? Because I'm not a massive fan of countdown equipment. Or oh, flamethrower I want to keep. Because that upgraded is ridiculous in damage. Uh, lockpicks, book of dice and two. Okay, so flamethrower I will hold on to. Once per battle, but yeah. Get four sixes on that, it does a lot of damage. Uh yeah, sneezy next then. Sneezy. And I don't really need to do anything with my dice to be fair. There's no point using me focus. Oh, that's gonna suck. Uh, yeah, I'm overthinking that because I could end the fight. What do I do? You're fine, fam. You're fine. Uh, just borrow equipment. Yeah, let's go with that, actually. That could be quite fun to mess around with. What's in the chest? Spike! Great! <laughs> Get the Venus fly trapped. <laughs> Uh, on 6, restore plus 2 health. I'm tempted to try and keep hold of that to the end if I can. Because that would be quite useful. I like a better version of the sword to be fair, so I might just put that in my backpack. Right, yeah, he's got two bits of equipment that'd be worth going after. He's also did a level 3 fight. Oh, it's two level 3s in there, okay. Electromagnet, plus 4 damage, plus 2 each use. That can be quite useful. I'll hold on to it. Hopefully the spike gets chosen before we thing. In fact, the yeah, A is weak to fire, isn't he? So let's have a bit of a mix around. Hopefully there's just absolutely nuke him at the start of the fight. Do a shock as well. Might as well steal a bit of equipment. Not that it's permanent, but. Nice. That was quite minimal damage, so. Have did. What's he gonna offer me as breakdowns then? Ah, the spike! Perfect. That was a nice bit of luck, huh? Scrap metal, always out offered as scrap. I'll hold on to that for now. Uh, let's take the flame for a back out because I don't want to end up having to choose that if I can help it. Right then. Gain one shield, always off as scrap. Right then. Yeah, electromagnet, the more you use it in the fight, the more damage it gets. Which works very well with the um, inventor's high numbers. 
to six damage. I'm only gonna get six damage out of those anyway, so yeah, might as well do that. Hmm, Pyrus rolling quite low, that's nice. Not gonna complain with that. Happy days. See me beers, you admire it? It's because I'm a pirate. Uh, let's have a look. Shield plus three, roll an extra dice, do five damage. Um. Yeah, I might as well use the scrap. Got an extra dice again. Happy days. Uh, okay, next fight I could get an upgrade. So I'll probably go for that. That's the Hoover, though. <laughs> Why Hoover? Why? I might even bring the flame for along with me on this one. Might as well. That's two burn. Yeah, remember the Hoover has the ability to steal your health, and it's um, not very friendly. Also makes this guy pain in the ass to fight. Line two dies, but that shouldn't be. Should be an issue, theoretically, anyway. Oh, that would be a one, wouldn't it? <laughs> Jackass. Just accept your fate. Thank you. Oh, how embarrassing. This goes back to the room because I'll never hear the end of it. Uh, sword, electromagnet, and hammer. Uh... Okay, let's get plasma gun. What's in this one? Dagger, reusable bump and keyblade, do free damage, return the dice. Buy an upgrade. Electromagnet shrinks. Flamethrower becomes bigger and can do some massive damage. Yeah. Uh, just kind of want to keep all these equipments. Well, to be fair, about to go down another floor anyway. And there's a box here as well. Crystal sword. Do three times damage once per battle. Okay. Probably get rid of the crystal sword then. Not two one uses, haven't I? Yeah, but they are quite high damage, so. Uh, how long do I level up? Quite a while, so it's risk it for a biscuit. Probably gonna regret it now, but we see how it goes. Well, that's gonna be me 15 da max damage from that, so that's off to a good start. I might get away with this actually. It's only got 10 HP left, so. Thankfully, he doesn't resist fire despite being on fire himself. Which is good. Uh, double next action. Yeah, I'll have some of it. The Wicked Man's from the weak to fire, isn't he? So. And we have our special ability ready as well. Which means... I think we might be able to take Wicker Man out in one hit, actually. Not that he really deserves it, but... He even goes, like, double overkill here and use a Fury at the same time. What's that? That'd be 48, that'd be 96 damage in total. <laughs> uh, spark turns into a blowtorch to do free fire damage. Fair enough. Counterfeit duplicated dice. Um, 
I mean, I'll keep that for the weapon breaking down. I think the gadget it gives off is rather nice. Duplicate a dice. For the fine. How much damage is that? 17, I mean. It's not bad, really. So that's good. Can I keep using that, or does it have to be between turns? It has to be between turns. Okay, that's fine. We should level up after this one anyway, so... Provided I don't die. Which is always a possibility. Okay, I just need to survive this next attack and then we'll be happy. Which I should do, because that's quite low numbers. It's not often I say things are confident, so... I'll take it. Uh, what we get? Duplicate all dice, thank you. Upgrade, scrap metal, we'll copy equipment. Uh... I might, um... Copy my hammer plus, actually, because it's quite good. One for the inventor. Down to floor five we go. Oh, the loud bird is the first fight. Oh, God. Why? Alright, let's get it done with. Okay, I mean, he's down to 4 HP on the first turn, so... Had to get a pot shot in there, didn't you, bass? <laughs> Rude. Uh, jackhammer, jackhammer. Oh, nuts. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of me Electro Magnet then. Raygun do free damage, free uses this turn. Yeah, Raygun's not too bad to be fair. Uh, who are we fighting next? Oh, good grief. Should probably go. Uh, oh, Rhino Beetle's level 4, so let's go after Rhino Beetle next. In this fly trap. if I do that. So I've got, still got a hammer, but... The ray gun can be pretty useful as well. Is that minimum three? Yeah, minimum three. Happy days. Roll an extra dice, and there's a one. Thanks, game. Love you too. <laughs> And there's a one again. <laughs> His first two turns haven't been particularly great, but I'm gonna get a dice lock, so that's fine. So the um, roll the dice ability anyway. Focus. That serve as a nice counter attack. Oh, I've lost a lot of HP on this one. Nuts. That could have gone better. Um, right. Plasma gun, I think. Plasma cannon, do 10 damage. That'd be a good one to use as a breakdown equipment. Hopefully it goes that way. Six damage on six are still free health. Uh, you know, I might leave that there until we've got all the equipment. What's in the shop? 
Oh, there's an apple in here actually. Nice. Can't get that then. I might also just grab the shovel quick. Can't remember what the upgrade does. I'm um, even inflict one weaken. Ah, okay. Nah, hold on to the upgrade. Uh, right. Apple's behind the Rat King, so it makes sense to go for him next, I think. Rat King is strong against poison, and he deals a lot of poison damage as well. Can't really watch my backside of this one. Thankfully, the weaken could really trip him up. Which I'm hoping will be the case. Yeah, you can stack up the poison against you rather easily. As we saw with the thief, um, poison damage is very, uh, very painful. Okay. How many dice does he get? Three. Okay, it's a bit worth burning all his dice then. How many times he done? Oh no, he went for all the burns, bloody hell. Jesus. <laughs> Rat King ain't fucking about today. I'm not gonna bother with the focus. He is down. Thank you. Uh, and let's. Break down the shovel. 8 HP, so we've just got the cowboy left, but I can weaken him every turn, so he shouldn't be too much of an issue. <laughs> Famous last words. To be fair, it's not a bad dice roll, just to use on the flame for a. So I'm not going to bother with the focus, I don't think. Yeah, he likes using sixes. I don't know why he. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The only damage he can do is with sixes. Be careful with that. This guy can um give you a very measurable time if he wants to. But I think we will be okay. We managed to get quite a good um starting advantage on him. He says as he rolls an awful roll. Um, I still shouldn't have to panic over. <laughs> and then he rolls three sixes. No, he's not. Cool. Are you judging me again? <laughs> nice. You know, very awkwardly before we fight the boss, I do actually need to call that apart. Uh, reduce countdowns by six, but I don't use countdown stuff. Shit. Um. Gotta go with that one. Just pure fact, at least I could heal every turn then. Uh, have I actually got anything in the backpack left? No, and it's just a scrap metal in the shop, I believe. So I just upgrade the plasma cannon, I suppose. Yeah, we're going to call it apart there, and when we come back we'll defeat the boss of the invented and go on to our next character. Until then, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed your time, please consider subscribing to the channel, it would be much appreciated. Whatever time is your way, morning, evening or afternoon, look after yourselves, I'll be back here in a jiffy.